The story of Balaam, found in Numbers 22 to 24, is a profound reminder of the sovereignty of God and his protective power over his people. Balaam, a pagan diviner and prophet, was hired by Balak, the king of Moab, to curse the Israelites. However, despite his intentions, Balaam found himself unable to speak anything except what God allowed. Instead of curses, Balaam's words became blessings for Israel, demonstrating God's power to turn evil intentions into good for those who belong to him. This story underscores an essential truth for believers. God is our shield, and no weapon or curse formed against us can succeed. Isaiah 50, 4-17 It serves as a reassurance that when we walk with God, his presence is a fortress around us, safeguarding us from harm and transforming even the schemes of our enemies into blessings. Reflection on the sovereignty of God, God's sovereign protection. Just as God prevented Balaam from cursing Israel, he actively intervenes in the lives of his children. The schemes of the enemy, whether they come in the form of physical harm, spiritual attacks, or spoken curses, cannot prevail against the power and purpose of God. This truth is echoed in Romans 8.31. If God is for us, who can be against us? Our lives are secure not because of our strength, but because of God's blessings amid opposition. The transformation of Balaam's curses into blessings reveals how God can use even the most hostile circumstances to accomplish his good purposes. As believers, we are called to trust that God works all things together for our good. Romans 8.28 what the enemy intends for evil, God turns for his glory and our growth. Living in obedience and faith, Israel's protection was not only a result of God's love, but also a reflection of his covenant relationship with them. As Christians, we are called to live in obedience and faithfulness to God, trusting in his promises. Our connection to him through Christ is what secures our protection and peace. Victory over spiritual forces, Ephesians 6.12 reminds us that our struggles are not merely against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of evil. However, we are equipped with the armor of God, which enables us to stand firm against these attacks. The story of Balaam serves as a vivid illustration of how spiritual forces cannot overcome those who are under God's protection. Practical application for believers. Trust in God's power. When facing challenges, persecution, or spiritual attacks, remember that God is in control. Rest in his promises and allow his peace to guard your heart. Speak life, not fear. Just as Balaam's words were overridden by God's will, our words and prayers should align with God's truth. Speak blessings, trust in his power, and refuse to give fear a foothold. Recognize God's sovereignty in every circumstance. Even when circumstances seem dire, believe that God can and will turn them for good. This perspective builds faith and hope in the face of adversity. In conclusion, the story of Balaam is a testament to the fact that no weapon, curse or opposition can stand against the people of God. When we align ourselves with him, his protection surrounds us, his purposes prevail, and his blessings overflow, even in the midst of opposition. Let us walk confidently, knowing that our God is greater than any force that may come against us. Credits written by author's name, narrated by narrator's name, produced by production company.